Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan, and welcome to this overview of what's new in Mocha Pro 2024. The biggest change to Mocha Pro 2024 is by far the vastly improved camera solver for creating 3D cameras from tracked scenes. This version integrates the best autosolve technology from Boris FX Synthize and combines it with the surface and vertex data of Mocha's planar and power mesh trackers. Not only that, but now you can visualize the solved 3D scene directly inside Mocha to preview the result and make adjustments. The solve features can be projected onto the source footage through the camera, or you can preview from perspective and orthogonal angles. If a moving object or reflection is causing problems, you can use Mocha's roto tools to mask out the area and instruct the camera solver to ignore it. This is especially helpful for cutting out faraway parts of your scene or turbulent elements like water that could throw off a clean result. Any power mesh tracks you use in the solve will be projected into static 3D meshes, allowing for easier placement in your destination 3D package. The meshes come with planar UV maps ready for projecting back into a compositing environment. You can export to USD and FBX with a range of options for exporting nulls or meshes, or After Effects camera motion that exports the feature points as layer nulls for easier placement in your 3D scenes. If you want to dive into the solve even further, we also export synthize project files to carry on your match moving work. While the new 3D tools in Mocha Pro 2024 are a major feature, we haven't left out the fun for non-3D users, adding tools to make it much easier to complete problem shots. The new Skip Frames option in the track module allows you to tell Mocha to skip over single frames or a range of frames automatically while tracking. This will then try to pick up where you left off and continue tracking the rest of the shot, interpolating any untracked frames in the gap. The new Step Frames option will allow you to track with intervals. For example, a step of two will only track every second frame starting from the beginning of the timeline. This is useful for tracking traditional or stop motion animation where frames may pause between keyframe movements. The Skip and Step tools are also aided by new keyframe options under keyframe controls. You can now select the type of keyframes you want to set for the project, either the default of linear interpolation or the new hold keyframe type, which will set constant keyframes. If you've ever tracked something that's going off screen or temporarily hiding behind an object, you know the pain of not having enough data to track with. For this we've included the option Extrapolate Track, which you can use to add tracking keyframes based on the motion of the previous frames, carrying on the path as though it had found actual data. We've also improved the GPU tracking in shots where the CPU tracker did a better job, allowing for faster results with even more accuracy. Significant optimizations have been made in this release to make Mocha faster than ever. Insert rendering has been improved to run up to 15 times faster than previous versions. This is especially noticeable in plugin environments where the render times are greatly reduced back in the host timeline. Python scripts now run up to six times faster for more responsive scripts in the script editor. File writing has also been streamlined, vastly increasing the project saving speed to shared sync platforms such as Lucid Link. With extensive new ways to utilize data in three dimensions and optimized tools for tracking and rendering, Mocha Pro 2024 is a powerful new update for VFX artists. You can grab a trial, product information, and brand new training for Mocha Pro 2024 at borisfx.com.